Hi there, in this video I want to talk about how I go from taking the work from the sketches and smaller paintings that I do into things like this painting behind me which is obviously on a much bigger scale and the thought processes that go into that kind of work. It's something that often comes up in the comments on the channel. People say to me, oh you know, you do a lot of the kind of sketchbook work but how do you go about scaling up to making something a bit bigger that's on a much larger scale and how do you make that kind of impact on something that's much bigger and I think one of the main things to think about is when you're taking work from your sketches to larger work it doesn't have to be as big as this painting behind me but anything that's more substantial is that the way I think about it is it's not scaling up and I think that's really crucial. It's really crucial to, to not think about trying to reproduce exactly what's happening in a sketch on the next painting that you do using those sketches as reference. And the reason I say that is because the way I work is, as you probably know, I go outside and I work directly from the landscape on usually quite large pieces of paper and I'm reacting to what's happening in front of me making marks in response to the things I see and the things that I experience in the landscape that's there. So I'm taking this external reference, the things that are out there. It's not abstract painting. It's not all coming up from the inside. It's something that's out there that's going into my eyes. It's going into my brain and I'm filtering all that stuff straight down onto the paper and just reacting to what's there. And then I come back to the studio and I'll be doing these sketches, collages, cropping, playing around with those pieces of work that I've done directly outside. I'm trying to make a bit more sense of them. So it's very much information gathering when I'm outside. I just want to get the stuff down on the paper and I'm not interested in making compositions. I'm not interested in making pictures. It doesn't have to make sense. It's just taking something that's out there, reacting to it and getting that down on the paper so I can really use it when I'm back in the studio. So when I work in that way, when I'm back in the studio and I'm doing these collages that you've seen me do lots of on this channel, this work in my sketchbook, that's when I'm starting to make sense of it. So there's a process that's going on here. There's these different steps that I'm going through. I'm taking something that's out there, I'm making something directly outside, and then I'm going through the cropping and collage process and really thinking about uh, how the composition might start to work. So it's very much a process, and that's an important way to think about it for me, is that it isn't just about making a picture of the thing that's out there and trying to get everything in the right place. It's about going through these processes that allow me to be creative with the things I see and the things I experience and get the kinds of images out of them that I want to see. So it's the same thing when I come to approaching larger pieces of work. It's not a case of just looking at a sketch and saying, right, I want that sketch, but I want it bigger. Because there's not a lot of value in that for me. Where's the creativity? I've already done it. I've already made the sketch. Say this sketch that's in front of me here, I was, uh, standing on a beach actually in California it was absolutely beautiful and I was just reacting to what was there and I was having a really good play around with the colors and the, the movement trying to get that energy down of the waves and wind and all that kind of stuff that was going on and I did quite a few of them there's another one here and I'm writing on it and making all these kind of gestural marks I collaged in some uh, bits of a map and little things that I picked up while I was away, made lots of different kind of gestural marks on the surface and started to get an image which has got quite a lot of energy and emotion and it recalls for me what it was like to be there. So if I was to take this image and simply just try to make a bigger version of it, then I run into the same kinds of issues as if I was trying to make a picture and a composition when I'm outside, sitting outside, trying to get everything right, right now, right here, trying to put everything in the right place, trying to make the composition, trying to get the color right, trying to get the marks right, trying to get everything done all in one go. So it's the same thing, it's the same problem. If I were to take this image, this sketch, and try to just put everything 
in exactly the same place as it is in the sketch, but on a bigger scale. It's like I'm making a picture of this sketch. So where, where's the value in that? Where's the creativity? Where's the interest? There's no exploration. There's, no, there's nowhere to go. It's just, I want this, but I want it bigger. Um, for me, that's not painting. That's just making a picture of something. It's just making a picture of the, the sketch. There's no life in it. So I need to treat the large paintings that I do in the studio in the same way as I would treat the sketches when I'm sitting outside looking at the actual landscape. I want to treat this group of sketches, not just the one, but this whole group of sketches as if it were the actual landscape. I'm looking at these images thinking, this is the landscape, this is my subject matter. And what can I do with this subject matter now I'm in the studio? that gives it a bit of life and creativity and interest and excitement, things that kind of get me going as a painter. So I'm looking at this painting behind me again, and there are certain things in these sketches which have made it into these paintings. Some of the energy, some of the movement, some of this drawn writing of where I was, some of those kinds of marks, but I'm not just scaling up any one particular image. So I'm taking these sketches as a group and thinking of them as the subject matter for the work that I'm doing in the studio. And I'm making another collection of paintings. This isn't the only painting I did in this series. So I'm making another collection of paintings based on the ideas and the images and the marks that are in these sketches. Partly what's here exactly and partly using them to stimulate my imagination and my uh, memory of what was there. They're not coming completely from memory because I'm using the sketches as reference, but I'm using them to recreate the experience. So when I'm in the studio, I'm thinking, what was it like? It's putting me back in the place that I was in when I was standing on that beach making these sketches. It's putting me back in that place. So there are certain things that are coming up that I can use. There's a big mark here. This is actually a painting that I did in Morro Bay, again in California. And Moro Rock is, a, if you could look it up, it's a big, <laughs> a big kind of huge rock in the middle of this, in the bay. And it's got this very distinctive shape. And I didn't really want to paint the rock, but I really like the shape of it. So this big line is coming from that. And some of that has made it into this painting here. But it's not a picture of Moro Bay. It's not a picture of where all these different things were. It doesn't have a lot of the little details that were there, but I don't find those particularly interesting. I'm not looking to put every little detail in every rock in the right place and every <laughs> sailboat that was there in the right place and trying to recreate it in that way. I'm trying to recreate, for me, what it was like to be there. And, you know, in a way, these paintings do that. This sketch has some of that. There was some graffiti that was there and I've made some marks about the Greek graffiti. There was a big, uh, I can't remember what it was, it was like a wall and it had what's the problem written on it. So I, I don't know why, I have no idea. It just kind of struck me. It was quite interesting. It was this beautiful place and I was doing some painting and I looked over and on this wall there's this someone has scrolled what's the problem. And I was thinking, there was a kind of incongruity about that, which I thought was quite interesting. So I scrolled that onto my paper as well. So those things, and that brings back those feelings. It brings back the uh, experience of what I felt and saw when I was there. So there's some of that on here, the shape, as I was saying, the color and the energy. And there's a kind of amalgam of all these different things that end up in the studio paintings. So they're part, abstractions, they're part representation, they're part my experience of what it was like to be there. So it has all this stuff kind of piled into it. But it's not crucially just scaling up from a sketch to a large painting. It's got a life of its own. I think the studio paintings absolutely have to have a life of their own. They have to be something other than just big versions of sketchbook work. Okay, I hope that answered the question. I do get asked quite often how I go from this kind of sketchbook work to the studio work. So that was some of the ideas and the thought processes that go behind it. 
If you're interested in learning in a lot more detail about this kind of thing, I do have an entire workshop called Paint It Big, which is all about taking your sketchbook work into more involved studio works. There's also my online membership group, which has been going for nearly two years now. So there's loads of projects, videos, tutorials, Q and A's, and it's growing all the time. So if you're interested in getting involved in that, you can share your work and talk about it with other artists as well as discussing it with myself, please do check out the link that's here on the screen. Okay, I'll see you soon.